Mm -hmm. I still I don't really feel that so much for um, a private game, but it, you see what God wants to see through these cards if I can build it. We're weird, right? We, man, we vibe. We got cool tribes. We're snapbacks, man. We might fall off for a little bit, but you know what? We snap right back, right? Just like a snapback. All right. For all have fallen short to the glory of God. He knows your heart. It's not for me to tell you how to live your relationship with Jesus Christ or anything like that. All right, he, we're all unique and different, and we all make different parts of the vessel. You feel me? Lord God, I come to you, Lord God, and I ask that you bless the viewer and you bless me. Help me to be able to speak whatever it is that you want me to speak, Lord Jesus. And yeah, just love on the viewer in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Alright, so the first one. I can do all things. Positive affirmation. I can do all. What is it? Uh, Philippians 4 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4 13. I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. All things. Not some. Not all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Remember. <clears throat> ain't your mama, but I can cook you some pancakes. Alright. God's calling some of you to stay away from people uh, for a little bit. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever shall call upon him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, that's how you get to heaven. You want to go to heaven? You got to ask Jesus into your heart, okay? Ask him to teach you his ways. He's just, he's faithful. He'll do just that. Um, though I live where I live, I was not raised with Christ. And I never cared to hear him. The only time I opened a Bible, I'm going to tell you all that yesterday. The only time I opened a Bible, I was 15 and I tore 666 out of the Bible. I wrapped some weed up in it, smoked it, hung the rest of the, uh, the tore out page from the Bible on my wall. I advise you not to listen to me on doing that. If you do that, you have a price to pay. God just gave me the damn load. Don't do it. <clears throat> ooh, 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 ooh. I wonder if y'all can hear the music. I got music playing. Oh, that was so funny. Did you see it just flip out? It said flip negative positive. Alright, so what is it? John 3 16. Flip the negative positive. Alright, so say you're going through a situation, okay? Um, same with like, like bro, maybe you had issues growing up, right? Flip it to positive. Everything you went through, 
help build you into the beautiful creation you are today. Okay? And now we need you to step into your power, but on your rock of Christ. And do what you do. We need you. You don't, you don't have to be extravagant. Maybe you do art. Maybe you paint um, kind words. That matters. We need that. You're a light worker. Michael just peeped out. Michael's here. But we already know Michael's here. Michael's always protecting us. He's the one that casts Satan into hell. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Hi. I love screaming. Oh, he keeps popping out. Hear my battle cry. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are now. Listen, okay? Alright, two came out. Um, you have to be careful and you have to remember, okay? So... You have unique gifts. Don't let the church of Christ, of God, so to speak, if that's who they really are, shut that down. But we must be understanding that everybody is different. Everybody is raised different, okay? I For four years, I was at a highly conservative Baptist church. And to be honest with you, I love it. Because that's me. That's, that's me. That's what I like. You know, I'm actually really conservative. But, um... It's just, it, what makes, it makes, I don't know how to explain it, but it's me, you know, I know that. But if I told them, and I'm not spreading no discord, and I'm not hating, but if I went up to them and told them, like, hey, God's called me to be in, like, uh, to sing heavy metal or something, right? They're gonna, no. What do you mean, no? You know, am I gonna allow what they say about me, stop me? No, same as you. Am I going to allow that to want to push me out of the church? No. Maybe figure out how to help them. You know what I mean? Or, got you know, wait on God. Like, I was in a church all for four years, about five times. As much as those church doors would open, I was there. And uh, for years, right? I could feel God was like, okay, yeah, you don't, I don't want you here no more. But it was a process. I didn't get myself up and leave. I took it to him, all right? So, don't ever, like I've said before, all right? I do not like that lame excuse, oh, they judge me. Whatever, dude. If you're shopping at a grocery store and you get a bad cashier, you're not going to stop shopping at that grocery store. Now, you might change your cash here, but you're not going to stop, let that stop you from getting your necessities, are you? No, you're not. All right, let's see what they said. Oh, okay. Woohoo. All right, so we got, uh, we got somebody that's uh, entering the channel that God's asking you to repent. And then we got, we got the believer, all right, hey, God's child, you're first. We got the believer who could, you could possibly be going, it could possibly be really um, challenging right now, all right? God wants you to see it in a different light. Whatever struggle you're going through, understand it's for a greater purpose. It's helping you, okay? So... I'm, I'm sure it might not feel like it. Just trust us, all right? Because he's telling you to flip it to neg flip negative to positive because he's granting your heart's desires. And before you can get your heart's desires, there are things, like God can grant you your heart's desire, right? Uh, we'll use, like y'all know, some of y'all, you know, we got, might got a new viewer. I don't, I tell my story to maybe help help you, all right? But there was a time that was years ago, and one of my exes really he can validate this. I remember we stood on at my work. I had this yearning to be a part of corporate office, right? 
And I, I that was more of a mammon thing back then. I just didn't know it. But um, I had this yearning to be in corporate office. That's where I wanted to be. So I asked him to help me pray. We stood hand in hand and we prayed. All right. Year later, not with, you know, at the time I wasn't with the guy or whatever, but I went to the job. It was unexpected on how it all happened, right? But I went to a job and I went into the uh, airport, started off as a ramp agent, making like eight bucks an hour, right? The right people acknowledged me, okay? They asked me to come in for another interview. An interview I didn't apply, a job I didn't apply for. And they welcomed me to be a recruiter. And I'm like, what is a recruiter? You know what I mean? And um, it was pretty cool. And then uh, a month after that, they promoted me to corporate recruiter. And they wanted to pay me a lump sum of money to move me and my children down to where corporate office was. All right? I remember my ex telling me, he was like, do you remember that? He's like, it worked. I'm like, of course it worked. You know what I mean? Like, why are we surprised right now? <laughs> you know? But, uh, but that was God kind of showing me in my own boat, like, hey, I can do a seating, a, like, a seating, uh, a, a, I am not even going to try to force it out, all right? Uh, I can do more than what you think. And yeah, I can answer prayers, but I'm doing this to show you I can, this is what God did with me. He answered that prayer. It took time. You got to be patient. And he answered that prayer. But while answering that prayer, he was showing me the power of prayer to help keep my faith going through life and also show me that he can do the unexpected. All right, I was working for corporate America without a GED. Okay, I've been a mom since I was 16. I got to do what I got to do to take care of my kids. And all my time needs to go into my home and into feeding my children. I need money for that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, be careful. People will wear you out. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if I really... Just don't beat yourself up. I don't care what somebody else is doing. If they're like, well, I did it. I don't care what you did. I'm proud of you. But don't let somebody dump their their stuff on you. So that's why I speak that. But um, we're all created different. We all have different parts in life. All right. But yes, God was showing me that. That he can answer. But I wasn't ready for it. So. We must understand that when we are going through things, these things are helping us. It might not feel like it, all right? I'm going through some things right now, you know? Like, when I speak, I speak to myself, too. And, uh, but yes. You have to be ready for it. So, we need you to be patient, but at the time, same time, we need you to understand. Flip what you, flip negative to positive. So what you think is negative, maybe looks, people not supporting you, what you're doing, or anything like that, you don't need them. Let's do a positive affirmation. I am a God pleaser. I am a Yahweh pleaser. I am Yahweh pleaser. Not a man pleaser. I am Yahweh pleaser. Not a man pleaser. I am a Yah I'm Yahweh's pleaser. Not a man's man pleaser. There's plenty of little G's out there. The Bible even talks about it. Alright? So know who you're speaking to. Okay? Let me tell you something else, alright? Nobody can make you worship anything that you don't believe in. I don't care where you stand at life. And if you're in a room full of Satanists. A lot of people have this belief now, oh, Sundays, you're not really worshiping God, you're worshiping the sun God, or whatever, right? Nobody can make you believe what is in your, take from you what is in your heart. Always remember that. It's a part of the sickness, okay? Because if they can get you believing that, then it's going to take from your heart. 
Don't open your heart to that. Close it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your heart is only to open what's heavenly and divine and what render to Jesus what is rightfully his. Okay? But just understand the hard times you are going through. It's to help mold you into your heart's desire. I don't want you going down the road I went down, man. That was a hard road and a tough pill to swallow. That was very painful. Like, I lost the job. Then I prayed to God. I was like, God, did I lose? Did I, did I screw up what was best for me and my family? Because nobody has ever reached that in my family. Nobody's ever reached that high of the status in my family. And it's okay. But I just wasn't ready for it. After I prayed that prayer, let me tell you what happened, okay? I got into a wreck, a head-on collision, 60 miles an hour. The wreck was my fault. I was running late for work, and I made a dumb decision years ago. I woke up. I thought my legs were broke. My legs, I, I had on, like, I have a, um, a very quick uh, reflex system. Like, I don't even understand that I'm doing what I'm doing. It's, so, it's just like that. It's natural. And, um... But I woke up to this woman at my window, and she, she was at my window, and I, I was just crying. I was bawling, man. Like, I, and, and I peed myself and everything because of the impact, right? The only thing I remember is this beautiful cross hanging out the window, and I'm crying, and I'm scared. And she's like, she's like, you're okay. You're safe. She's like, everything's okay. And she told me, she said, the paramedics are coming. But I just... Do you know how much Jesus loves you? And I was like, yes, ma'am, all day, every day. She said, good. A few days later, same wreck, same road, same kind of car. Nissan Altima, 2006, good car. The, the lady died. Uh, that was a wake-up call. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want y'all to go through that. So just understand if you're having troubled times, believer, God is saying flip your negative to positive and don't beat yourself up if you're struggling. Just ask God to help you. Tell him, you know, like, I'm sorry, I'm struggling. I don't mean to do you wrong. I don't welcome negative vibrations. Please help me be remain positive. He will. But he, he's granting your heart's desire. So you must go through these things so you can withstand it and you don't end up how I ended up a few years ago, okay? And you don't lose it, all right? I don't want that to happen to you. We want you ready, all right? And now, this is for the uh, the person coming through that um, they think they're here for different reasons, but actually they're here because God is calling you. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever shall call upon him, shall have everlasting life all right this is how i know it's for you the heavenly see all all right woe to you for hurting people says the lord all right but he wants you to know he's a forgiving god and you can still cross over all you got to do is ask for forgiveness. Uh, realize you're a sinner. We're all sinners. We all fall short to the glory of God. Okay? It's nothing new. All right? You just have to understand that Jesus, God sent Jesus to die for your sins. Okay? And the Bible really is pretty cool. Like, when I read it, I was like, because I, I came from witchcraft and stuff, man. I was like, whoa, it's talking about sacrifices. There's a lot of blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's pretty wicked, you know, to be, but, but when I say that, I humbly say that, and, you know, I get it, I get it, I, I, we're special, right? But, just know that the Bible is actually really cool, like, straight up, it's pretty cool, but, um, and, and, it, uh, God, the way he works, you get spiritual gifts, man, it's, it's really cool, <laughs> And you're adopted into a family of royalty, all right? But all you got to do um, is acknowledge that you're a sinner. We're all sinners. Don't get offended. Ask When you ask Jesus to come into your heart, ask him to place your ego on the side, man. But Because uh, that's what's getting in the way is your ego. And it's okay. We all go through it. You know, we've all done stupid things. I've done some really stupid things. But um, But yeah, you just ask Jesus to forgive you. 
You ask them to come into your heart. You know, thank them for dying on the cross for you. You know, and uh, if you don't know, understand his ways, either did I. I got saved at 26. I'm 34 now. I never opened a Bible other than the 666 page I told you about. All right. But you just ask them to forgive you of your sins. Confess your sins to him on your own time. And yeah, just thank them. And bada bing, bada bang. A lot of people will never, don't get it. They, they, they think there has, to, it has to be more complicated than what it really is. But it's not. All right. So, you know, like, it's really not that complicated. It's not. You got this. All right. All right. We love you. All right.